Good afternoon, everyone. It's your English class, and today we are going to study about noun clauses. Right? So, some notes I have prepared for you. So, let's understand about the noun clauses. See the first example. I expected a gift. That is noun word. So, dear students, you need to understand that whenever we write any subject or object of the verb, so that time either we have to write either a noun or pronoun. So this word, a gift, that has become the object of expect verb. So that is a noun, right? But see the second example. I expected to have a party. I expected to have a party. So this part also has been used as a noun, but it is not, it is not a noun. It is a noun phrase, right? Because many words we have used here. But see the third example. In this, I have written, I expected that I would have a party. So this part is also the object of um, expect verb. So we know that whenever we have to write the subject or the object of the verb, so we have to use either noun or pronoun. So this part, this clause has been used here as a noun, as a noun clause. So this part is called a noun clause, right? And now see the next example. In this, I have written Rahul has come. You know that naming words are called nouns. So Rahul is name that is noun, but that is a word. But see the second example. In this, I have written the intelligent boy has come. So this complete three words, this complete part has been used as a subject of has come verb, right? So that's why this part is called noun phrase. Next, who is intelligent has come. So this part is also subject of has come verb, but this part is not a single word or not a phrase. This part is a clause because who that's a subject and is that is a a uh, finite verb of the who subject, right? So, dear students, simply we can understand koi word, yani ki koi naming jo word hota hai, agar wo naam ki tere use ho, to noun ho gaya, right? Jo verb hoti hai humari, usme agar hum, uska humne subject kuch likhna hai, ya object kuch likhna hai, to us verb ka subject ya object ya do noun hote hai, ya pronoun hote hai, jaysi mein haa pe likha hai, I expected a gift, to I kya hai, iska subject hai, expect verb ka, or a gift kya hai, uska object hai, तो सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट बनने का काम कौन करते हैं या तो नाउन करते हैं या प्रोनाउंस करते हैं राइट right? तो इसलिए यहां पे आई क्या है यहां पे हमारा प्रोनाउन लिखा गया और गिफ्ट क्या है यहां पे हमारा नाउन लिखा गया तो हम कभी-कभी एक वर्ड ना लिखकर एक, एक से ज्यादा वर्ड्स लिख देते हैं ऑब्जेक्ट की तरह तो वो वो वर्ड क्या होता है वो नाउन फ्रेज बन जाएंगे जैसे मैंने लिखा आई एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव अ पार्टी टू हैव अ पार्टी दिस कंप्लीट पार्ट इज अ नाउन फ्रेज अब वहां पे अगर ऑब्जेक्ट की जगह हम कोई क्लोज लिख दें तो वो ऑब्जेक्ट क्या होगा हमारा वो नाउन क्लोज होगा जैसे मैंने लिखा यहां पे आई एक्सपेक्टेड दैट आई वुड हैव अ पार्टी दैट आई वुड हैव अ पार्टी दिस इज अ नाउन क्लोज सेम मैंने बताया कि सब्जेक्ट की तरह कोई वर्ड यूज हो तो वो नाउन होगा जैसे राहुल हैज कम हमें पता है कि राहुल नेम है तो नेमिंग वर्ड्स क्या होते हैं हमारे नाउन होते हैं अब उसी के स्थान पे यानी कि सब्जेक्ट के स्थान पे कोई हम फ्रेज यूज करते हैं तो वो क्या बनेगा हमारा नाउन फ्रेज बनेगा जैसे द इंटेलिजेंट बॉय हैज कम राइट द इंटेलिजेंट बॉय क्या है यहां पे सब्जेक्ट है किसका हैज कम का सब्जेक्ट कौन बनता है या तो नाउन या प्रोनाउन तो प्रोनाउन तो हो नहीं सकता राइट तो ये क्या हमारा नाउन है बट एक से ज्यादा वर्ड्स हैं तो यहां पे वो क्या हो गया वो फ्रेज हो गया उसी तरह हु इज इंटेलिजेंट ये हु इज इंटेलिजेंट हैज कम जो इंटेलिजेंट है वो आ गया अब ये जो वाला पार्ट है वो हैज कम वर्ब का सब्जेक्ट है सब्जेक्ट का रोल कौन प्ले करता है या तो नाउन या पर नाउन तो ये नाउन है बट एक वर्ड नहीं है ये तो क्लोज है तो ये कहलाएगा नाउन क्लोज सिंपली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड जो क्लोज नाउन की तरह काम करे जो क्लोज नाउन की तरह काम करे दैट इज कॉल्ड नाउन क्लोज राइट सी द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल आई हैव रिटन हियर आई नो दिनेश सर राइट दैट्स अ नाउन मींस दिनेश इज नेम ऑफ लाइक समवन so in the second sentence i have written i know the cricket coach of the century school so this part is also object of no verb but this is not a single word or not a clause so this this part is a noun phrase but see the next example in this i have written i know who trains our cricket team 
I know who trains our cricket team. So this part is the object of know, but it is not a phrase or not a single word. It is a, a noun close by because subject who is written there and a finite verb trains is written there. So this part is called a noun phrase, right? And now see the next example I have written here. I can't tell you the place. I can't tell you the place. Place is noun. That's a naming word, right? But see the next example I have written here. I can't tell you his living place. His living place is also object, direct object, right? So that is not single word. So that is noun phrase. But see the next example. I can't tell you where he lives. I can't tell you where he lives. So this part is also object, direct object of a tell verb. So uh, he subject is written here and uh, lives. That's a finite verb means main verb. So this part is a close. So this is a noun close, right? So dear students, we have understood here. What are the noun closes when any close works as a noun? So that is noun close, very simple. So in the second point, we have to understand about uh, something about the noun, a noun or noun closes. Point is that a noun may act as the subject, object or complement of a verb or the object of preposition and infinitive or an or a participle. So, जो हमारा noun होता है, वो एक sentence में या तो subject बनता है, या तो object बनता है, या तो वो verb का complement बनता है, और वो preposition का object भी बनता है, और infinitive भी, infinitive form भी use करते हैं, उसके participle form भी use करते हैं, कैसे करते हैं वागे समझ? Right? See this example, I have written here, Ram helps Sham. जो हमारी help verb है, वो हमारी action verb है, उससे पहले वाला part क्या है, subject है, उससे part, बाद वाला part क्या है, हमारा object है, दोनों ही part में, देखो, हमने noun use किया है, name use किया है, तो noun जो होते हैं, name जो होते हैं, verb का subject भी बनते हैं, verb का object भी बनते हैं, right, this is subject, plus verb, plus object, यानि Ram is our subject of help verb, and Sham is object of the help verb, right, but see the next example, Ram is a teacher. Ram is a teacher. So teacher is not the object, right? It is a compliment. Compliment kya hota hai? Aisa koi word jo kisi sentence ko pura karta ho. Complete karta ho. Complete word se bana hai compliment, right? To yaha pe is jo humari helping verb hai, main verb hai, wo koi action verb nahi hai. Usme koi kaam nahi ho raha hai. Jaise main help kya hota hoon. Help verb bolta hoon. To usme kuch action hota hai. Usme kuch kaam hota hai. ठीक है, but is में यानी कि Ram is a teacher, Ram कोई काम नहीं कर रहा। अगर मैं कहूँ Ram is teaching, और अगर मैं कहूँ कि Ram is studying, Ram पढ़ा रहा है या Ram पढ़ रहा है, तो कोई action कर रहा है, क्या action कर रहा है, पढ़ने का या पढ़ाने का। But अगर मैं कहता हूँ Ram is a teacher, तो is जो हमारी verb है, उसमें कोई action नहीं है, वो तो एक state बता रही है कि Ram क्या है, right? तो जो हमारी B की forms होती हैं, is M R, उसमें क्या होना उसका यानी कि राम क्या है वो ये शो करते हैं तो एक्शन नहीं होता उसमें तो उसके बाद जो वर्ड लिखा जाता है वो उसको कॉम्प्लीमेंट कहलाता है राम इज अ टीचर टीचर यहां पे ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं यहां पे कॉम्प्लीमेंट है राइट सो so, हमने यहां पे समझ लिया कि जो नाम होता है नाउन होता है वो किसी वर्ब का सब्जेक्ट बनता है किसी वर्ब का ऑब्जेक्ट बनता है किसी वर्ब का कॉम्प्लीमेंट भी बनता है राइट सी द नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल कैन यू वेट फॉर राहुल कैन यू वेट फॉर राहुल so the interrogation mark will come here by mistake it was not written so interrogation mark will come here because it's a interrogative sentence right so dear students you can uh, see here four is a preposition to four hai hamari wo preposition hai and after the like preposition we have to write the name right hame preposition ke baad ya to noun likhna hota hai ya pronoun likhna hota hai to hame yahan pe ye samajh mein aaya hai jo preposition ke baad वर्ड लिखा जाता है वो उस प्रेपोजिशन का ऑब्जेक्ट होता है तो ऑब्जेक्ट कौन होता है या तो नाउन या प्रोनाउन राइट सो राहुल क्या है फोर प्रेपोजिशन का ऑब्जेक्ट है राइट प्रेपोजिशन प्लस नाउन यूजुअली वी राइट द नाउन आफ्टर द प्रेपोजिशन समटाइम वी वी राइट द प्रोनाउन आल्सो लाइक वी कैन आल्सो से कैन यू वेट फॉर हिम या कैन यू वेट फॉर मी राइट सो हिम एंड मी दीस वर्ड्स आर द प्रोनाउंस नेक्स्ट प्रेपोजिशन प्लस नाउन दिस लाइक पॉइंट आई हैव टोल्ड यू I want to play. So I want to play. To play, that's also infinitive. 
right it's also like a noun right, right? because we have used here to play as the object of uh, the home for see the next example i started playing playing is ing form par participle form that's also object of start for right so what uh, i want to make you understand dear students that is jo mara noun hota hai wo kisi verb ka subject ban sakta hai kisi verb ka object ban sakta hai kisi verb ka complement ban sakta hai kisi preposition ka object ban sakta hai kisi um, verb ko verb ke sath wo infinitive form mein aa sakta hai infinitive form matlab 2 plus root form aur kisi वर्ब के साथ उसके ऑब्जेक्ट बन सकता है पार्टिसिपल फॉर्म में आ सकता है राइट तो ये बेसिकली हमारा नाउन काम करता है और जो इनके स्थान पे क्लोज आ जाएंगे वो क्या कहलाएंगी नाउन क्लोज राइट नाउ प्लीज कम बैक ऑन योर बुक पेज पेज नंबर लेट मी सी आई थिंक 150 यस कम ऑन द पेज नंबर 150 प्लीज वेट लेट मी टेक द अटेंडेंस फर्स्ट Stay connected. Okay, yes, please. G point noun clauses. Look at these two sentences. He expected to pass. He expected that he would pass. तो हमें पता है वर्ब के बाद अगर हम इन्फिटिव फॉर्म लिखते हैं तो वो उस वर्ब का ऑब्जेक्ट होता है ऑब्जेक्ट क्या होता है नाउन होता है तो टू पास क्या है हमारे हमने ऑब्जेक्ट की यूज की तरह यूज किया राइट अब ही एक्सपेक्टेड दैट ही वुड पास अब दैट ही वुड पास इसी यानी कि एक्सपेक्ट का यहाँ पे ऑब्जेक्ट बन गया तो जो ऑब्जेक्ट बनता है वो नाउन या प्रोनाउन होते हैं तो ये क्लोज जो ऑब्जेक्ट बनी है तो ये क्या हो गया हमारा नाउन क्लोज हो गया राइट इज ऑल द पॉइंट वी हेव डिस्कस इन नाउ कम ऑन देंटेंस नंबर थ्री His being elected is certain. His being elected is certain. Noun phrase, sit, acting as a subject of the verb. So, this is है ना इसका subject क्या है? His being elected. ये वाला जो part है, his being elected. ये वाला क्या part क्या है? Subject है. Subject किसका है? Verb का. Verb क्या है हमारी is. तो is का यानी कि verb का जो subject होता है, वो noun या पर noun होता है. अगर वहाँ पे कोई phrase use करें, तो वो noun phrase. अगर वहाँ पे कोई clause use करें, तो noun clause. अगर वहाँ पे कोई word use करते हैं, तो वो noun word. Right? तो ये this part is a noun phrase. But see the next example. That he will be elected is certain. That he will be elected is certain. So is is a like finite verb, and that he will be selected. This is a subject, and but it is not a single word or not like not a phrase. So this part is called um, a noun clause. Why? Because he subject is there and will be elected. That's the finite verb is there, right? See the next sentence. You should carefully listen. You should carefully listen to the words of the teacher. To is preposition. After the preposition, we know that which word is written. That is the object of the that preposition. So, ये जो words हैं, the words of the teacher. ये ये words एक से जाते हैं, तो ये phrase हुई. और ये किस किसका object है? To का, to preposition का. तो ये वाले word क्या कहलाएंगे? Noun phrase. उसी तरह अगर to के बाद इसका कोई object लिखें, वो object कोई phrase ना हो के, कोई word ना हो के. कोई क्लोज हो तो वो क्लोज क्या कहलाएगी नाउन क्लोज राइट यू शुड केयरफुली लिसन टू वर्ड द टीचर सेज नाउन क्लोज एक्टिंग एज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द प्रेपोशन टू सेम थिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू अ क्लोज व्हिच एक्ट्स एज अ नाउन इन अ सेंटेंस इज कॉल्ड अ नाउन क्लोज सिंपली डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड अगर कोई वर्ड नाउन की तरह काम करे तो नाउन वर्ड हो गया अगर कोई फ्रेज नाउन की तरह काम करे तो नाउन फ्रेज हो गया उसी तरह अगर क्लोज नाउन की तरह काम करे तो क्या हो गया नाउन क्लोज उसी तरह एडजेक्टिव क्लोज और एडवर्ब क्लोज होती हैं अगर कोई वर्ड एडजेक्टिव की तरह काम करे सेंटेंस में तो एडजेक्टिव क्लोज सॉरी एडजेक्टिव वर्ड अगर कोई क्लोज सेंटेंस में एडजेक्टिव की तरह काम करे तो एडजेक्टिव क्लोज सेम एडवर्ब अगर कोई वर्ड एडवर्ब की तरह काम करे तो वो एडवर्ब वर्ड हो गया अगर हमारा कोई क्लोज एडवर्ब की तरह काम करती है तो वो एडवर्ब क्लोज हो गया बट उससे पहले हमें ये समझना पड़ेगा कि नाउन के फंक्शन क्या होते हैं एडजेक्टिव के फंक्शन क्या होते हैं एडवर्ब के फंक्शन क्या होते हैं अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस राइट लेट्स मोर अबाउट नाउन क्लोजेस अ नाउन क्लोज मे यूजली एक्ट एज द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द वर्ब और द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द प्रेपोजिशन और इन्फिटिव और पार्टिसिपल दिस ऑल द पॉइंट वी हैव डिस्कस ऑलरेडी A noun clause is often introduced by that he said that he was a quite satisfied. 
तो बच्चों यहाँ पे ये बताया गया है कि जो नाउन क्लोज होती है वो बेसिकली मोस्टली दैट के द्वारा रिप्रेजेंट किए जाते हैं शो किए जाते हैं जैसे शी सैड दैट शी वॉज क्वाइट सेटिस्फाइड सो बाय द दैट लाइक which close has been written here that is a noun close because uh, like we have used this close as the object of said verb right next it may be introduced by question words like why what how etc like we wondered why nobody has turned it up to hum wondered the ki koi bhi uh, turn it up nahi hua hai is baat par hum aashcharyachakit the nobody knew when the refreshments would serve so with the when we have started this close so this close is a noun close right it may be introduced by if or whether if or whether se bhi introduce kar sakte hain jaise i want to know if we had any objection right next the teacher asked me whether i had understood the lesson right to isme dear students ye bataya gaya hai ki jo hamari noun close hoti hai wo zyada tar that se shuru hoti hai aur why what aur how se bhi shuru hoti hai aur if or whether word se bhi shuru hoti hai hamari noun close right next point we should know just the close by the word introducing it it is important to understand its function in a sentence before saying whether it is a noun close or an adjective close or an adverb close let us take an example to so, this means in this it has been told that with the word we should note just that what is the type of the close we should observe the function of that close hame jo wo jo close di gayi hai wo sirf word se jaise that aa gaya to that se hame जस्ट इमेजिन नहीं करना चाहिए जस्ट जज नहीं करना चाहिए कि वो क्लोज हमारी नाउन क्लोज ही होगी हमें उसके फंक्शन देखना है अगर वो नाउन की तरह काम हुई काम कर रही है एक्ट कर रही है तो नाउन क्लोज अगर वो एडवर्ब की तरह या एडजेक्टिव की तरह काम कर रही है तो वो उसी तरह एडजेक्टिव या एडवर्ब क्लोज होगी राइट सी एग्जाम्पल्स फर्स्ट शी सेज दैट शी हैज फोर गुटन द कीज एट होम शी सेज वट डज शी से सो answer of what we are getting and whenever we have to get the answer of what it means that's a objective verb to so, jab kabhi students hum what ka answer yani ki verb ke baad jo uh, word aata hai action word ke baad jo uska object hota hai to verb ke baad directly koi close aayega to wo kya hoga uska object hoga object kya hota hai noun to ye close kya hogi mare mare noun close but see the next example the best cartoon that we have received So that we have received यहाँ पे क्या कर रहा है उसको क्वालिफाई कर रहा है बता रहे हैं किस तरह का कार्टून जो हमने रिसीव किया था द बेस्ट कार्टून दैट वी हैव रिसीव सो फार हैज बिन ड्रोन बाय अंग स्कूल स्टूडेंट तो दैट वी हैव रिसीव यहाँ पे देखो दैट से शुरू हुआ है बट ये वाला हमारा नाउन क्लोज नहीं है ये हमारा हमारा एडजेक्टिव क्लोज है राइट बिकॉज ये क्वालिफाइंग कर रहा है नाउन कार्टून राइट तो वर्ड से हम जज नहीं करना हमें उसके फंक्शन को ऑब्जर्व करना है कि वो वो क्लोज किस तरह फंक्शन कर रही है उस सेंटेंस में so third example she is tired that she can't work more wo itni thaki hui hai ki wo aage kaam nahi kar sakti hai aur kaam nahi kar sakti hai to yahan pe jo that hai that she can't work more uske result ko bata rahe hain uske effect ko show kar rahe hain ki wo itni thaki hui hai uski wajah se kya ho raha hai kya effect ho raha hai to jo effect ko show karti hai wo close kya kehlati hai hamari adverb close तो यहाँ पे दैट से शुरू हुई हमारी क्लोज बट वो नाउन या एडजेक्टिव क्लोज ना होकर एडवर्ब क्लोज है क्योंकि उसका फंक्शन जो है वो इफेक्ट को शो करना है यहाँ पे राइट सी द एग्जांपल नंबर फोर आई आस्क हर इफ शी वाज रेडी आई आस्क हर इफ शी वाज रेडी दैट इज अ नाउन क्लोज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ब आस्ट तो आस्क वर्क का ऑब्जेक्ट है हमारा राइट इफ शी वॉज रेडी ठीक है तो ये हमारा क्या हुआ नाउन क्लोज हुआ इफ से शुरू है ये बट सी द एग्जाम्पल नंबर फाइव वी कैन लीव फॉर द स्कूल इफ शी इज रेडी बट इन दिस सेंटेंस लाइक वी आर टेलिंग द कंडीशन कंडीशन इज दैट इफ शी इज रेडी वी कैन लीव राइट अगर वो रेडी उस कंडीशन पे हम स्कूल के लिए लीव कर सकते हैं जा सकते हैं स्कूल के लिए तो यहाँ पे जो क्लोज है इफ वाला वो उसके कंडीशन को बता रहा है कि लीव कब होगा जब वो अगर वो रेडी है तो राइट right? तो कंडीशन को बताने वाला क्लोज क्या होता है हमारा एडवर्ब क्लोज तो हम एक वर्ड से आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर सकते कि किस तरह का क्लोज होगा उसके फंक्शन पे डिपेंड करता है कि वो क्लोज किस तरह का है राइट नाउ ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ डियर स्टूडेंट्स लाइक लेट्स डू दिस एक्सरसाइज इन दिस लाइक यू हैव टू रेस यूर हैंड फॉर गिव द आंसर एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन पिक आउट द नाउन क्लोजेस 
you should remember that you have to reach the hole in time. So can you tell me which part is the noun clause? This is crystal clear that which part like we are going to tell that will be noun clause, but we have to tell here which part is the noun clause, right? So who will give me the answer? Raise your hand and let me do some setting from my end so that I can see the hands of uh, you all people. Please wait. Yes, Himanshi, you please let me know about first intent. You should remember that you have to reach the hole in time. Which part is here? Noun close. Himanshi, yes, please. Yes, sir. So the, so the answer is that you have to reach the hole in time. Very good. Absolutely right answer that you have to reach the hole in time. Why? Because remember is verb here. And what is the object? What is the receiver? That is the object you have to reach the hole in time. So remember the verb is verb. Ke jo aata hai, uska, usually it is the object. It is the whole part. It is the object. Ki but this is not a word, nahi hai, ek, like a phrase, it is a close because it is the you jo hai, subject diya hua hai, have to reach the finite verb, hai, uski main verb hai. right? So this part is the noun close. Very good right answer. Next, I wondered why the bell was constantly ringing. Who will let me know about this sentence? Ekanj, you please tell me. Sir, why the bell was constantly ringing in Very noun good. clause? This is, this is the noun clause. Very good. Right answer. Come on the sentence number three. And dear students, after giving the answer, you need to uh, again go on the mute mode. I assure you that everyone will get justice. So what is the noun clause in this sentence? Prince, you please tell me. Prince. Sir, that everyone will get justice. That everyone will get justice. This part is the noun clause. Very good. Right answer. Come on the next sentence. The poet could not understand what the song meant. Who will let me know about this? Rupal. Rupal, you please tell me. So what the song meant. What the song meant. Very good. Right. Song meant. Yes. Next sentence. Now we know why it is important to brush the teeth. Let me see what word is written there. Yes. Every day. So who will know, who will tell me about this sentence? Let me see. Palak. Palak, can you let me know? Yes, sir. Yes. Why it is important to brush the teeth every day? Why it is important to brush the teeth every day? Very good. Right answer. So next sentence, it's a little complicated. Who will let me know about the sentence number six? How the prisoner escaped is a mystery. Who will let me know about this sentence? Raise your hand. Let me see. Uh, Sachit. Sachit, you please tell me. Sir, how the prisoners escaped? How the prisoner escaped. Yes, very good. This part is the noun clause. Very good. Next sentence. I wish I were a bird. I wish I were a bird. So who will tell me about this sentence? Rupal. Rupal, you please tell me. I were a bird. I were a bird. This part is the noun clause. Very good. So, dear students, seven sentences we have done here. Rest of you have to do by yourself. Okay. Now, please come on the next exercise. Exercise number eight. So, let's read the question first. Question is that supplies table noun clause. So, dear students, here you have to write the noun clause. A few I will let you know and rest of you will do. So our first sentence is that is an open secret. So this part is written here. So uh, this fill up we have to fill and this fill up we have to fill with the with the noun clause. Please wait. Let me do some setting for my end. Okay, so we can tell we can write here.
Uh, so we can write here that he has been selling goods in the black market is an open secret. Or we can also write um, we learn in the century school is an open secret. That is uh, that is an open secret, right? So we can fill uh, this according to our understanding. Now, second sentence you have to fill by yourself. Who will let me know about second sentence? Please tell me. Raise your hand, dear students. Who can fill the second sentence? I think. Can you come here? Hmm. Ekans, you please tell me. Sir, I think that he is uh, intelligent, I, uh, beautiful. Ah, yes, man. yes, yes, yes. Whatever you want to mention. I think that you are my friend. I think he, you are a, a good boy. Okay, so in this way you can mention, you can fill this. Okay, third sentence. Do you know what can come here? Do you know? Who will let me know? You, you please tell me, sir. Do you know what the price of this product? Do you know what's the price of this product? Yes, very good, right answer. So according to our understanding, we can fill. Okay, three we have done, and rest of you should do by yourself. Now, please come on the exercise number nine. In this, it's written, replace the underlined words by stable noun clauses. So, underlined words are written here. So, you need to change those words because those words are written in the noun phrase. So, you have to mention their noun clause. Clear? First, like, I was happy to know of his success. So, of is preposition after preposition. We know that noun is written. So two words are written here. So that is noun phrase. So we have to remove this and we have to mention here the noun clause. So we have right, we have written here. I was happy to know that he had succeeded. Right? Both the sentences are giving the same meaning, but in first sentence we have used there after the off word uh, noun phrase, but in second sentence we have used here noun clause. See the second like B example. Tell us the secret of your popularity. So that's a noun phrase. So we have to write here noun close. So we have written, tell us how you have become popular, right? So come on the sentence number one in this uh, exercise, we have to remove the noun close. So in the noun phrase, we have to mention the noun close. Our first sentence is, I know you are liking for Western music. I know you are liking for Western music. So who will let me know about this? Please wait, let me do some setting. Yes, Ekansh, can you tell about this sentence? Can you change this, this uh, phrase into the noun clause? Ekansh, please. Uh, I know that you like Western music. I know that you like Western music. Yes, very good, right answer. We can mention this. Tell me about the second sentence. All of us prayed for our team's victory. All of us prayed for, for that's the preposition. After that, that's the noun phrase. So oh, our team's victory, this part we have to change into the noun clause. Who will let me know about this? Webhub, you please tell me. She expects so all of us pray for that our team might well, again tell me are we i am asking about the sentence number two sir, again tell me please sir, do you, yes again give me the answer that, that our team might win yes very good that our team might or may win very good all of us prayed for that our team might win or uh, might, like may win or may get the victory Yes, very good, right answer. Sentence number three, she expected to get an A1 in every subject. To get an A1 in every subject, this is a noun phrase, this part you have to remove and you have to mention here, noun clause. So please tell me what can come here. Rupal, would you like to try? Yes. She expected that she would get an A1 in every subject. Yes, she expected that she would get an A1 in every subject. So, this one three we have done very good right answer. 
The rest of you should do by yourself. Now let's come on the exercise number 10. Pick out the subordinate clauses and say what kind of clause each is for oral practice. So this we will do for oral practice. But this exercise also you have to do in your book also, not in notebook. In book you, you should do this. Okay. So, you in me say subordinate close. You find out karna hai. Aur first subordinate close ka apne type pata hai. Hame pata hai jo mare noun close, adjective close, ya adverb closes hote hain. Wo subordinate closes ka part hote hain. To pehle to apne pata hai ki kaun si close hai usme. Yani ki subordinate close kaun sa part hai. Fir pata hai uska type kaun sa noun ya fir adjective ya fir adverb. Right? So please tell me about sentence number one of our 10th exercise. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, Ekansh, you please tell me. Sir, where children cannot reach them easily, adverb clause. He is a place. Adverb Medicine or place. should be kept where children cannot reach them easily. So this part is an adverb clause. Why? Because it's telling the place any you as a word yeah, as a words to yes jo kisi place ke bare mein bataye place ko denote kare kaun se sthan ke bare mein bataye to wo kehlate hain wahan pe adverb right to ye close hai kya kehlaye ki adverb close very good right answer sentence number 2 she forgot the place where she had parked her car now who will let me know Rupal, please tell me about sentence number two. So where she had parked the car, or hmm. this adjective clause. ये ये वाला part भी तो हमें place के denote कर रहा है. ये वाला adjective क्यों है? इससे पहले वाला adverb क्यों था? ये वाला part where she had parked her Sir. car. ये वाला part भी तो हम्म place को बता रहा है. Okay, hmm, try to give the answer. Up answer will cool take a evil apart. Hamara adjective close, hai, but Q hai, wo main jana Sir, mujhe adverb me laga tha ye pehle to isliye na adjective ho la. Okay, dekho adjective adverb tab hoga. Agar ye place word diya gaya na, to ye bata raha hai kaun sa place jahan pe wo apni car park usne ki thi. To ye place ko denote, yani ki place ko qualify kar raha hai. Aur usse upar wali sentence me first me wo place ko bata raha hai. अगर वो ऊपर वाले सेंटेंस में मीन सेंटेंस नंबर 1 में वेयर से पहले प्लेस दिया होता ठीक है तो वो वहां पे उसका एडजेक्टिव बन जाता है यहां पे प्लेस नहीं दिया हुआ ट्रैक्ट उसको डिनोट कर रहा है पहले वाले सेंटेंस में दूसरे वाले सेंटेंस में प्लेस के बारे में बता रहा है कि कौन सा प्लेस वो क्वालीफाई कर रहा है उसको स्पेसिफाई कर रहा है कौन सा प्लेस वे शी हैड पार्क हर कार राइट तो इसलिए द प्लेस होने की वजह से वो वाला पार्ट क्या हो गया हमारा एडजेक्टिव क्लोज हो गया राइट नाउ प्लीज कम ऑन द सेंटेंस नंबर 3 do you remember how you used to play practical jokes on the visitors? So who will let me know about this sentence? Let me see. Prince, you please tell me. Sir, how you used to play practical jokes on the visitors? Noun closes, sir. Noun closes. Very good right answer. You can remember Jamara. वो वर्ब है हमारी ट्रांसिटिव uh, वर्ब है उसके बाद जो वर्ड लिखा जाता है वो उसको ऑब्जेक्ट होगा एक वर्ड नहीं लिखा गया है पूरी फ्रेज लिखी गई है तो वो उसके क्या हुआ हमारा नाउन फ्रेज है वेरी गुड राइट आंसर नाउ प्लीज कम ऑन द सेंटेंस नंबर 4 राजन ड्रेम्ड दैट ही वाज ट्रैवलिंग इन अ स्पेसक्राफ्ट सो हु विल लेट मी नो अबाउट दिस सेंटेंस युग यू प्लीज टेल मी सेंटेंस नंबर 4 Sir, that he was traveling in a spacecraft. Hmm. Type. Noun. Sir, place. Place. Nee, better place. Type. Bata no. Uska noun hai. Noun close hai. Adjective close hai. Adverb close hai. Sir, adverb close. Adverb close nahi hai. Dekho, ye dreamt hai na dreamt. Ye hamari main verb hai. Main verb ke baad jo part use hota hai, wo uska object hota hai. Yes, sir. ठीक है तो ये उस डैम्प वर्ड का ऑब्जेक्ट हुआ ऑब्जेक्ट जो होता है वो नाउन या पर नाउन होता है तो यहां पे एक वर्ड नहीं लिखा गया एक क्लोज लिखी गया तो वो नाउन क्लोज ठीक है ऊपर रिमेंबर में भी देखो रिमेंबर हमारी एक फाइनाइट वर्ब है उसके बाद जो लिखा गया है वो उसका ऑब्जेक्ट होता है 
तो ऑब्जेक्ट क्या होते हैं हमारे नाउन क्लोज होते हैं राइट इस वजह से यहां पे वो नाउन क्लोज है राइट ओके सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक ओनली थर्टी सेकेंड्स आर लेफ्ट 